everyone, it's Christina for Neat and Tangle. Today I will be making a card using the cloud stamp set from Neat and Tangle because I love those clouds with the patterns. I think they are, um, well, so adorable. And I'm going for the wood grain cloud today. I picked out a white card base and also a panel of, uh, yeah, white cardstock that is slightly smaller than my card base. And then I picked the wood grain cloud and just stamped it with random ink. I had some memento on my desk and just randomly stamped that having in mind that I would need a border around every of those clouds. Um, so I had that in mind and then I stamped the cloud five times. And I did not go for a perfect um, for a perfect coverage as you can see. And then I just cut all the clouds out leaving a little white border because I wanted to have those uh, holes that should be a little larger than the actual cloud. Then I used my tape runner just to um, adhere that temporarily to my card front. So I just used a tiny bit of that adhesive because I know I can just pull it off and that will work. Then I took some um, poster tape to uh, cover the edges that I did not want to color and picked out a rainbow of inks. It's Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts inks. They do have the same formula so they work together perfectly. And then I started with the first um, cloud that's blue. It's already blue from, from Simon Says Stamp. And after I stamped the blue cloud I knew that I did not want to have one cloud in one color but to have some kind of uh, shading on the colors, uh, on the clouds. So I dabbed the cloud into the green ink first and then into the yellow ink and stamp that and the ink did not blend so I had like a like an edge between the green and the yellow. It does look good but this was not perfect so I tried to do it better the next time. First of all I, I um, cleared, cleaned my stamp with some stamp cleaner because those inks do stain your stamps and sometimes you um, yeah you get not the true color on the next time. So this time I went to the yellow, dabbed it into the orange and went uh, over to the yellow again to get some more of the shading and yeah it got better from time to time. I found out that you really have to go back to the lighter color and cover uh, a bunch of the darker area also. Uh, you will see that in the orange and red um, cloud which is the last one. It worked perfectly then so I used a lot of orange ink went to the red and then to the orange ink again I was not very careful and then I stamped that and I had some kind of uh, a gradient there so this looks so nice <clears throat> I was not sure if this would work with um, with the, those dye inks but it does it just takes some uh, some practice to get uh, a nice a nice shading on there and then I decided to have a black stitched line around the um, yeah, we got some some visit from Apple and then I decided to have some stitching line around each cloud So I took my uh, uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in S and drew those lines and then I peeled the um, The sheet off and used some dimension adhesive I used the tiniest adhesives that I have because there were some areas that were quite small and I really wanted to go into all the edges to make sure the cardstock would not um, yeah, be damaged so I put that on. <clears throat> Sorry I have to cough because I'm a little bit sick. And then I took out the... Um, oh, what's it called? Sorry. Um, it's the Stop and Go stamp set from Neat and Tangled. And then I took the Enjoy Life stamp because I thought Enjoy Life and the clouds would work together very very well. I took a piece of black cardstock, used my EK Success embossing powder tool because especially on black cardstock you want to have a very good impression and no white embossing powder spread onto your cardstock. So uh, I wanted to have a really clean impression and I got that. If you want to get rid of the EK Success powder tool thing uh, on your black cardstock just uh, use a, a baby wipe or a wet cloth like I do and you get rid of all the powder. And then I cut that down to the size that I wanted and to the shape I wanted to have an angle on there. And I cut it down to the size that I thought would look well on that card. And then I adhered that with my tape runner to the card front. To finish off the card, I took out some of my do-it-yourself animal dots that I will be adhering with some scrapbook adhesive uh, dots in medium. They are like 8 millimeters, I think. 
and they are perfect to attach little embellishments to your cards. So I use those dots for my animal dots. And the, the good thing is they do not fall off, not at all. But if you want, you can, uh, yeah, you can really like, um, yeah, get, get the dots off again. You will see, yeah, I changed the green one. I had to be careful, but uh, you can uh, change the position of your, of your embellishment without destroying the adhesive. And if the dots are too big, you can just put it under your embellishment and that works. That finished the card for today. I hope you got inspired, your mojo got tickled and please visit my blog or my YouTube um, channel and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.